When you decide to switch to a different CRM system, migrating your existing business data to the new system could be very challenging. However, a seamless transition is crucial for your business continuity. And that's why so much care and work has gone into making the data migration into Zoho CRM basic and straightforward. Hello everyone. In this video let's learn how we can migrate data from Salesforce to Zoho CRM. The mode of migration happens by exporting backup files from Salesforce and importing them to Zoho CRM. Let's quickly see how you can export your data from Salesforce. In your Salesforce account, open Data Loader, then click Export and select Export All. Another option is to log into your Salesforce account and then go to Settings. Data Management. Data Export and Export the Data. We have attached a help link with different ways to export data from Salesforce account in the description below. Now, the data will be extracted as a zip file and will be available in the file form of we underscore file name. Let's extract the zip file using any of the extractors available. The folder will be extracted in this form. In the folder, we have the CSV files of different modules that were available in the Salesforce account and also attachment files, content version, documents folder. As a best practice, before we begin the migration, it is better to riffle through the files and understand which are the files that have data. A list of standard set of modules is supported for the migration from Salesforce to Zoho CRM. Custom modules can also be migrated. Custom modules will have file name as module name underscore c dot csv. Several integration modules will also have the same file name format. For example, in the folder we extracted, we can see the files in the format dsfs underscore docosign underscore envelope underscore c dot csv, and these are integration modules. As we scroll down, we can see files in the format milestone one underscore milestone underscore c dot csv, another example of an integration module. Now let's step into the migration process. In your Zoho CRM account, go to Setup. Data Administration. Import. On the Data Administration page, you can choose the CRM system from which data is migrated. Let's select Salesforce. The first step in the data migration is the file upload. Click on Browse Files. Let's select the standard module CSV files like leads, contacts, accounts, opportunities, tasks, events, notes, and users and other required modules like legal underscore C, CSV file here as well which has data and is a custom module. Click Open. Now files will get uploaded automatically and the status will also be updated. The char set option given here determines the character set that is being used in the CRM systems. Preferred char set set is auto detect. However, if you're using any other language in your CRM, then the preferred char set would be UTF-8 Unicode. We'll select auto detect and click next. The next important step in data migration is module mapping. As you can see here, most of the modules are mapped automatically. The file legal is suggested to be a custom module and a custom module is automatically created. In case you do not want the suggested custom module, we can unmap it and click on create new module to create a new custom module of your choice. Enter the name and map an existing file, in this case, we select legal underscore c dot csv and click yes. Under unsupported files, we can find field history dot csv because it does not have any data in it. There are several other modules that will not be supported in Zoho CRM, like feed post, event relations, task relations. Apart from those, all the other modules are mapped. The third important step when migrating data is field mapping. In the field mapping tab, make sure that you map all the mandatory fields. Similarly, we have to check all the unmapped fields and map them one by one to the existing fields in your CRM system. On the field mapping page, click on create new field to create custom fields. Unmapped fields field types will be identified properly for several fields. As you can see here region is identified as a picklist field, even the custom field company type underscore C is rightly identified as picklist field. But it's important to cross-check everything and create the custom fields as required. 
Several fields types will not be identified and we have to select their field type manually. To identify what type of field this can be, let's open leads.csv file and take a look at the company type column. Based on the data, we can see there are a lot of options like pharma, biotech, hospital etc. It's pick list field. Most of the field types are auto-detected and for others, we can go through the sheet like this and figure out the data type. Once we map and create the custom fields as required, we can do the same for the rest of the modules and click Next. This is another important step in the migration process. Review the modules mapped, custom modules created, fields mapped and custom fields created and once we are done, now let's start the migration. Once the migration is complete, you will receive an email notification. Here, you can see the modules and their migration status, the number of records added, skipped. The data migration will be paused if more than 5,000 records in a module are skipped. You will have the option to resume migration. Here in the accounts module, many records were skipped. The reason for the records being skipped is also visible when you click on them. In this case, it is because the mandatory field account name was empty. So they were skipped. That completes the first part of the migration. Now let's see how we can migrate attachments, content versions, and documents. In the backup folder, you can see the attachments folder and attachments.csv file. Select both and compress it to a zip file. Next, select the content version folder and content version.csv file and compress them to a zip file. Similarly, select and compress the documents folder and documents.csv file into a zip file. As best practice, we can go about migrating them one by one. Go to the data migration page and upload the attachments.zip file here. Automatically attachments.csv will be mapped and loaded in the backend. Next is the field mapping, which as we can see, is automatically mapped. We just have to save and click next. Now the attachments will be mapped to their respective parent records. Similarly, we can proceed to migrate content version and documents respectively. Once the migration is complete, you will receive an email notification as well. That's all about how we can migrate data from Salesforce to Zoho CRM. For more resources on Zoho CRM, please visit www.zoho.com crm resources.